Hi everybody, I have had some technical glitches this morning because one, I set my reminder to only me and I've gone live twice now on only me settings. I don't know how the switch happened, but anyway, I am here now and it is Ask Me Anything Friday and I'm so excited about that because I get to interact with you guys, you get to ask me questions, I get to know you a little bit better and you get to know me a little bit better. So some people send me their questions ahead of time, but as soon as you start logging in, let me know you're here, let me know where you're tuning in from, put a little flag and you can ask me anything. The only request I ever have on Ask Me Anything Fridays is that you keep it PG. Now I have a little assistant here with me, he's 11 and he just told me that I should let you guys know that I have a YouTube channel now and you can subscribe to it. He told me you have to click a thumb. I'm very new to YouTube but he told me that I have a YouTube channel which is Into Fitness and you guys should subscribe to it like. away from my Facebook and you should like it. So let's get started with the ask me anything question. So the first question someone asked me is are you always barefoot? I like to call myself the Barefoot Island Girl and when I travel and stuff it's the chronicles of the Barefoot Island Girl and the answer to that question is yes, I am always barefoot. I don't know why but I just, I'm more comfortable not wearing shoes and I work out barefoot so if you guys watch my stories people often comment like, are you barefoot? Yeah, I'm barefoot. I don't know why but I'm always barefoot. Like I, I interview team members barefoot, I do staff training barefoot. Um, I'm just always barefoot. The only time I ever really wear shoes is if I have to, like I'm going into the bank and they wouldn't let me in and even then it's flip flop. So I just like the barefoot feel I guess. The one pair of trainers I did buy was Vivo Barefoot so they give you that like natural free ride. And yeah, so I'm always barefoot. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Remember, it's if you could ask me anything Fridays. And feel free to drop your questions in the comments below and I'll get round to them. And so I'm just, some people sent me questions, so I'm just going to check them out and then I will let you guys know. So, hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. Remember to let me know you're here and where you're tuning in from with the flags. I'm just looking for this question. It was really funny. I, an I answered it just now on the live that was to only me because I made a mistake, a technical error, and I'm just trying to find it again. Um, hold on one second because it's really funny. It says something, uh, sorry guys, I was organized just now, um, but with these technical glitches, kind of messed me up a little bit. Okay, this one's good and I'm glad that some of my brothers are watching, not all of them, but some of them are. This one is, what is, um, how has your birth order characteristics of your siblings affected you? Now I am one of four siblings. I am the only girl, obviously I have three brothers. Now I fall in the order of second eldest. So we always have this joke in our family because if you're a middle child, drop middle child in the comments because there is a thing called middle child syndrome and I didn't believe in it but it is so true. So my elder brother Graham and then Duncan, my middle brother with middle child syndrome is listening to me live sat next to me so he has to go away. Anyway, so middle child syndrome, right? So I'm the only girl, so that's my, apparently that is my thing. So elder brother, younger brother, I'm the only girl and he's just the one in the middle with no significance at all. So he always is like, oh, I'm just nobody. He's the eldest, he's the youngest, she's the only girl. So if you're a middle child, comment like that you have middle child syndrome because apparently it's a really real thing and yeah. So I actually love being the only girl, that was the question because I don't know whether obviously it probably was something to do with growing up with three boys. I am the only girl and I am a tomboy. Like I love to rough and tumble, I love to go on adventures, I love to challenge myself physically like doing the tough mudders and jumping out of airplanes and things like that. So I do believe that probably was from growing up with boys. I think I went to ballet when I was younger but I love taekwondo and karate so I did more of that. My mother is also, yeah she's commenting now, she's one of five girls and in that lineup she was the tomboy. So I think that whole like, you know, rough and tumble, not afraid to get dirty and you can see like I like to look pretty but I don't mind getting mud on my face or anything like that and just roughing and tumbling so I think that does affect like growing up with um, children. Actually my father is one of four and he's only got one girl in his so I think there's a theme within our family. Um, guys if you're tuning in, I'm just trying to get the lighting a little bit better, if you guys are tuning in remember it's if you could ask me anything Fridays and so feel free to drop your comments or questions in the comments below and I will get around to answering them. Um, you can ask me anything just keep it PG. Okay so let me see another question. Um, uh, what, 
What areas of your life are you immature? I don't, well, I wouldn't say I was immature, I'd just say I'd love to have fun. Like, if there's something silly to do, like, I'm not afraid. The other day, when I went to this Ninja Warrior Park, there was a trampoline park, and I was with my friend Jo, who I met online through Intuitive Fitness, and now she's a coach on my team. So, Jo, if you're watching this, hi. Um, or you're probably watching the replay, because you're dealing with the kids right now. But we went to this Ninja, Ninja Warrior Park, and there was a trampoline park attached to it. And I'm not afraid to just be a little kid, and jump up and down, and join in, and, you know, do crazy things. So, I wouldn't say I'm immature, but I love to have fun, and I love to act like a little kid, because it's it's good to keep young at heart and be able to relate to kids and just play with them so I say that was where I was immature if if I can even say that um, Cecil do you have a question for me I have I have a little um little PA with me here go on I'll ask me what it is okay it's keep it PG so yes you have to keep it PG what is my favorite if workout um, my favorite if workout I like, I like weighted cardio actually because it challenges you in all the right ways um, and I love functional fitness which a lot of the IF workouts are functional fitness because they incorporate weights and cardio and I think if you're working out for half an hour you might as well go hard, go home and you're done for the day. So weighted cardio is always a favourite of mine. There's a move that I absolutely love in 21, 22 minute hardcore where you're holding the weight here and you basically you roll back onto the floor do a somersault and come back up into a burpee and you're holding the weight. That doesn't, I didn't describe that very well, but it's a pretty cool move. So you're just standing here, you roll backwards and then you flip up into a burpee. Like it's pretty extreme, but it's a lot of fun. Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. This is If You Could Ask Me Anything Friday. So if you have any questions, drop them below and I'll be happy to answer them. Let me just scoot back up. Where's, oh yes, the tree in the background, guys. This tree is phenomenal. It's called the tree of life and uh, you can get like, it's called moringa as well. So you can get moringa teas, you can make tea out of it, you can eat the seeds. I personally don't like the seeds, they taste like aniseed, but I shred the leaves off every day and make tea. It's absolutely amazing. Look up moringa tea, the tree of life, and you will just be blown away by its like natural ability to heal and all the goodness it has in it. I met a lady actually the other day at HubDot who, who grounds the leaves down and makes like a moringa powder, which is amazing to put into shakes and things like that so if you ever are anywhere where they have a tree of life definitely just go and strip a couple of branches it grows back real quick because this tree actually got knocked down in the hurricane we lost a couple of the branches and it was bare and within like a month it was it was back looking as beautiful as it is now but that's moringa tea and it's the tree of life i've seen quite a few people actually with really beautiful necklaces which are for the tree of life and they're actually stunning um i brought one the other day made out of shells from barbuda um and it's absolutely gorgeous the pink shells from barbuda oops i just turned it around Cecil, do you want to just pop your head in and say hi i accidentally turned the camera around that's my assistant guys if you want to know who's helping me so I don't know why I did that. I was trying to zoom in. Anyway, right. So do you guys have any questions? Let me just keep scrolling up and see. Sorry, guys. Um, okay. So remember, it's if, see, intuitive fitness. If you could ask me anything Friday, um, dad, I'll bring you some. I'll, I'll shred some off the tree and you can put it in your shake tomorrow tea. It's really, really good as well. Um, okay. What, what's one thing you'd rather pay for than do yourself and why? Like, I have to be honest right now, the best investment I ever made about a year and a half ago was investing in a full-time housekeeper because I, I'm away or I'm working late and I don't get home sometimes till eight, nine o'clock at night and the last thing I wanna be doing is laundry or meal prep. I'm letting one of my secrets out now. I actually have someone helping me with my meal prep but because I work, like these kids are laughing at me guys I told you you had to be quiet Shh. Um, so that is one of the best investments I made a full-time housekeeper that just helps around the house and it just means that I can get on with the important things and she is such a blessing and I'm so grateful every day to have her um, just making sure that the house is clean and tidy and it's amazing so that is one of the things that I would rather pay someone else to do and you know I work hard so I'm able to afford that so I'm always grateful for that like I said it's one of the best investments I ever made um, guys right yeah it's leverage exactly it's time leverage if you can pay someone to do something else um, yeah and I also have I want to give AXA a shout out right now um, she is in India and she's one of my VAs and she's absolutely awesome the whole team are so she's also an amazing help 
to me as well. See guys, I might be the face of this, but there are so many people behind the scenes that help me and support me and believe in me, um, but I couldn't do it on my own. I'll never take full credit because this is the team effort and we're building this together, my family and all the people that helped me. So big shout out to you guys. Right, I'm trying to get it so you guys can actually see me. Do you boys, Cecil, Aiden, I told them I was going live and if they wanted to listen to me and watch me, they had to be quiet, but do you have questions? What's your question, Aiden? Come on, you have to think about it because I'm live. People are watching on TV. Um, come on, come on. <laughs> what are the tree of life? Do you know the answer to that? What, what are the actual seeds called, Cecil? Do you know the answer to that question? They're called... Um... Right, we're trying to figure out what the seeds for the Tree of Life are called. I will find another... Yeah, yeah, but you're over there, like, they're like about half... Yeah, they taste so like yeah. aniseed. I don't like them. Okay, guys, I'm going to do one more question because I've actually got to run out to a meeting today. Um, so the last question is, are you a creature of habits? And explain. I... I'm like such a contradiction because yes, I love being in my own personal space, like at home with my personal things and my home gym and everything like that. But I also love to travel and be on adventures all over the place. So I am a creature of habit in certain respects, but I don't mind spontaneity, spontaneity and just deciding I want to do something and going for it. I'm an extremely spontaneous. Spon Spontaneous person. Sorry guys, I got distractions. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am I am, and I'm not a creature of habit. Right guys, this is the last question and it's coming from beside me because I've got some kids here sat with me listening, hanging out. So Aiden, what is your question? What's the best thing you have done for the year so far? What is the best thing I have done for the year so far? Hand on heart, I have been traveling a lot and it's been absolutely amazing and I've got more travels coming up. I'm jetting away next week, but honestly, it's the amount of people, and I'm not saying this to win brownie points or anything like that. It is the amount of people who put their trust in me to help them, to support them on their fitness journey, their mindset shifts and everything. That is honestly one of my biggest achievements, the best thing I've done because I am so passionate about it and I just love being able to see people transform and change their lives and that is such a blessing to me. That's what drives me. That's what gets me up excited in the morning. And I'm so thankful every time someone decides to take that first step and join me because I know I'll be a, a catalyst for them being able to live a better life. And I experience that for myself. And I just get so excited when people start that journey and then stay with me and completely change the course of their lives. Cecil is asking if he can ask me a question. So we've got one more question from my panel in front of me. Cecil, what is your question? Um, when you travel, do you, uh, do you like interact with people faithfully and then help them train or you like just give them a fitness plan? Okay, he says, when I travel, do I travel to help people train or not? So the beauty, that's a really good question. I travel to train myself and grow and learn and I go to things like Summit and I work out with the super trainers themselves. But what I do is all online, so it's virtual, which is why I can travel so much because I don't need to physically be anywhere. Um, I, I did do live classes, which thankfully me a little brother is doing for me at the moment to allow me to grow and, and be able to help even more people. But basically it's all online. Online. so you can log in from anywhere in the world if you travel like my my personal trainer my nutritionist is in in the palm of my hand on my phone which means I can work out anywhere you don't need any space like I'm traveling for a month so I'm gonna choose a workout which has zero equipment so I don't need to take dumbbells with me or worry about anything like that so I don't physically train people when I go away but I do train them online and just keep that keep what I do every day because I check in with my accountability group every day to make sure that they've been working out to make sure that they've you know push play make sure they're on track with their nutrition so I do keep training people like when I'm away but not physically anyway guys so that is the end of if you could ask me anything Friday thank you so much for tuning in remember this is a an every Friday thing if you could ask me anything this is funny because I have so many people around me today so I hope you guys can hear me um, but yeah so thank you for tuning in and I will see you all next week for if you could ask me anything Friday but I will also be back tomorrow with more tips and tricks and mindset and everything like that so thank you guys for all the love and support um, if you want to ask me anything for next week just Drop me a DM or you can comment below and we will go from there. Mr. Fox, hold on guys, I just have to say hi to Mr. Fox because he tunes in every week. I know he's not with his little man today, he's actually with my brother. I think they're in Portugal for Sam's 
stag reunion um, but I have to give him a shout out because he catches me every week on ask me anything Friday and they usually ask me football things which I can't answer but anyway I hope you guys are having an amazing time in Portugal and I oh no I'm missing my big brother next week he's flying in I'm flying out so we'd like switch in the night at the moment but anyway Sam Graham have a good time guys and I will speak to everybody else tomorrow but catch me next week same time for if you could ask me anything Friday bye guys